Hey guys, welcome to this video, which is a sneak peek at something that is currently inside of beta testing inside of UChat, and that is SSO. So we are currently beta testing a single sign-on feature, meaning that you will be able to create one master bot user profile where you can connect all the other channel bot users as well. So that means that you can synchronize data between different kinds of bot profiles on different kinds of channels, which all belong towards the same user. So currently there is a mode disabled for us inside of beta testing. And if we take a look at basics, then you will see that we have two different kinds of providers. We have Google and Facebook at the moment. And later on, we, I believe we're also going to provide documentation on how, on how you can add your own provider. First of all, we have two different kinds of options here. We can basically set up your own message on what the user needs to do, call to action. And then we also have the button text. After the successful login, you can also choose a subflow to basically send the user to. If we take a look under the advanced section, you will see that we have an additional option where we can basically build our own login flow. This, for example, can be useful if you are on WhatsApp, where regular button buttons with a website type link inside basically populate as direct straight links directly inside of a text block. So in this case, you will need to basically set up and WhatsApp message template with a dynamic URL value, right? So you can build your own login flow. And again, you can also set up your own successful login flow. If I go with basic, I can show you how it basically functions at this moment in time. So let's go with the provider Google, that is fine. Uh, I've already set up my message login to sync your data and also a button text. Now I also created my successful login flow. So if I go and search for SSO, let's go with SSO successful, and I'm going to save this. Now, what you will see now, if I go towards a specific flow, you will also already see that I have an SSO sign-up flow. And you will also see that we have a status on the flow as set as SSO. This requires the user to log in. You can do this on any kind of flow that you like to. You can toggle this on and off on the starting node itself. If you enable this, then before this message is being sent, basically, you will require to log in, right? After the login has happened, and you can even disconnect this, then the successful login flow will trigger. So meaning that this will directly go towards the flow that we set up, and that is the SSO successful. And as you can see inside, I just have a really simple message successfully signed in. Let's go this route first. So let's go and preview this flow. Let's do that inside of WebChat. Let's go with a WebChat browser, preview in pop-up. And let's say we are going to sign in with a Google profile. So if we're going to do this, then we're going to sign in now. And I will select this Google profile. And this will auto close within five seconds. We will decrease this time towards, I believe three seconds and you can also close it yourself. Now you can see after basically the message, the login has been sent, right? We automatically go towards the successful login flow. As you can see, this correlates with this flow. So if we go towards this flow, you will see that we have successfully signed in, right? You can also basically, if we are going to get out of that part, so what you can also do is you can leave this successful flow after our go-to flow after successful login empty. What this does is basically, if we go back towards this required login flow, this means at this moment in time, as the setup is, we are going to log in. Soon as the login has happened, we are going towards this specific node. So first starting note is to log in. Do note that if the user is already logged in, it will skip the login session, right? Because if we are able to track that the user already has logged in, then it will go directly towards this specific node and then we can continue the flow like normal. So before I'm going to connect a new profile, let's say a WhatsApp, we can go towards bot users. And if we refresh, you will now see that we have an SSO bot profile. If we take a look, then you will see that we already have a connected bot profile, namely WebChat already connected towards this master bot user. Every single thing that happens in one profile will be synced towards the other one. So for example, if I'm going to add a tag in this one, so let's add a new tag. Let's say I'm going to add a tag, um, let's say all access member, right? 
If I'm going towards this web chat profile, this tag should also be added. So if we are going to take a look under the tags itself, you will see that this tag has been added as well. So how cool is this that now data will be synced, synced between all the different kinds of channels and profiles. Now, if we go back towards the live chat, let's minimize this. Then you will see that this is the current bot user. So on web chat, and you can see the connected bot user profile. You can easily switch between the two. But if we are, for example, going with a custom user field and we're going to say, okay, we're going with a response custom field and I want to give this a value, let's say, um, let's go with 20, something random, right? I'm going to save this and you can see it being changed here. But if we go towards this master bot profile, you will see that the data has been synced here as well. So we can see that the, pre that the previous value was nothing, empty, and the new value has been set to 20. So if we're going to take a look under the custom user fields, you will see that we have the exact same value here. If I'm going to delete this here, there we go. If I'm going back towards the web chat user, you will see that it's been deleted here as well, right? So everything is basically being synced between each other. Now let's go towards this SSO because as you remember under the setups, we now basically remove the go to flow after a successful login. What we are going to do now is going to preview this in, let's say, WhatsApp. So let's say we're going to WhatsApp and open this inside the web browser. Now what happens is if we're going to press this, we will need to log in. Whoops, that was the wrong one. If we're going to press send, we are still required to log in, as you can see. But now you will see that we have a link populated, right? So again, under the advanced settings inside of, let's go there. So under the advanced settings of the SSO, you can build your own logic flow for the login. It will be a function flow. And inside this fun function flow, you can basically have a condition. If channel is WhatsApp or WhatsApp cloud, then you can send a WhatsApp message template with the dynamic URL value, right? And you can then access this SS URL. Now let's go back towards WhatsApp and let's just log in using this, basically this uh, URL itself. So we're going to log into the exact same Google account. So let's say this one, but instead of getting the message successfully signed in, as you can hear, most likely I'm already getting a WhatsApp message. I should receive, if we're going back towards this flow, I should receive, let's get going with a button. So let's see if this happens. And as you can see, now we continue the flow directly after the successful sign in. So you have several kinds of use cases where different kinds of setup will work in your particular uh, use case, right? And then you can just press the button and say, okay, let's get going. But this button is not connected anywhere, so it will be empty in this case. But if we go back and take a look at the bot user overview, let's refresh. You will now see my profile here. And if I take a look at this profile, you will then see that it is again already synced with my, basically my master bot user. And every single information here has been synced with the master bot user, but also the web chat channel. So if I take a look here, I have the all access member. I have four custom user fields, last text input, last button title. And if we are going to take a look here, you will see those exact same values will be inside the master bot profile. And if we're going towards web chat, you will see the exact same, right? So how cool is this that you can now have a unified, basically a unified bot user profile it will still create separate bot users on different kinds of channels, but you're now able to connect them all without any hassle, basically. So this is a really unique feature and this is not everything yet, right? So it's still inside of beta testing and we need to have some feedback as well. So if you are interested in becoming a beta tester for this SSO settings, then you can submit a ticket towards ticket at uchat.com.au. And from there, you will be able to provide your use case on what kind of use case you would have this SSO, SSO feature enabled, right? Could be any kind of use case and also send along your workspace ID and your bot name so that we can enable the uh, beta testing feature SSO on your specific workspace, but also your specific chatbot, which you want to experiment with. So again, if you're interested, do sign up by sending a ticket towards support and we will manually uh, basically enable this feature for you on your particular workspace and your particular chatbot. 
If you have any questions, do let us know. Again, this is still in beta, so nothing is final yet, but we wanted to give you a sneak peek of what is to come. And we hope to be able to bring this live towards all users really, really soon. But for now, have a great day, take care, and we'll talk to you really, really soon.